the exercise 4.6 we are now on page number 42 we are doing just two more sums for today sum number 4 and sum number 5 sum number 4 says find the smallest number which is exactly divisible by 48 36 and 72 find the smallest number which is exactly divisible by 48 36 72 when they ask you to find the smallest number that is divisible by these numbers that means you have to find the LCM. So sum will be copied by you. Solution I am showing you on the board 48, 36 and 72. So I take 48, 36 and 72 together and I find the LCM. 2 2's are 4, 2 4's are 8, 2 1's are 2, carry 1, 2 8's are 16, 2 3's are 6, Carry 1, 2, 6 are 12. Again by 2, 2 12s are, 2 9s are, 2 1s are 2, carry 1, 2 8s are 16. Remember 12 and 18 are still divisible by 2. 9 is not divisible by 2, so 9 will be copied down. So 2 6 are 12, 9 comes down, 2 9s are 8. Now as you can see, only 6 is divisible by 2, but not 9 and this 9. So both these 9s will be copied down. So 2, 3s are 6, 9 comes down, 9 comes down. Now none of the 3 numbers are divisible by 2. The next prime number is 3. So 3, 1s are 3, 3, 3s are 9, 3, 3s are 9. I've got 1 already which will go to the end of the sum. Again by 3, 1, 1, 1. So my LCM out here is 2 multiplied 4 times, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 3 multiplied 2 times. So LCM would be multiply 2's and get one answer. 2 2's are 4, 4 2's are 8, 8 2's are 16. And multiply 3's and get one answer. 3 3's are 9. So my LCM would be 9 6 are 54, carry 5. 9 1's are 9 and 5 14, 144. Now since it is like a word problem, it's saying find the smallest number which is exactly divisible by 48, 36 and 72. So the smallest number you have to write this last, the, the final statement, the answer to the question or the answer to the statement that they have made in sum number 4. So the smallest number that will be divisible by divisible by 48 36 and 72 is 144 is 140 so you have to write this final statement because that's the statement required the smallest NO means number. So the smallest number that will be divisible by 48, 36 and 72 is 144. Coming to sum number 5, that is a very interesting sum and it happens to be the only sum. It says find the smallest number which when divided by 24, 36, 54 and 60 leaves a remainder of 4, leaves 4 as the remainder in each case. Now, in this case, I will take all the 4 numbers find the LCM of those four numbers and that number will be exactly divisible by these numbers without leaving a remainder without leaving a remainder so all I will need to do is find the LCM and add that number to it so that it does not be any more exactly divisible by the numbers that are given but will leave a remainder of four like if I have the number nine nine is divisible by nine but if I want a remainder of 4, so I will add 4 to it. So what will 9 and 4 become? 13. Now when I divide 30 by 9, 9 ones are 9, and 30 take away 9 will be 4. I get a remainder of 4. So what this sum is trying to tell you is find the least common multiple, the least number that will be, div that will, that will be exactly divisible by all these numbers. So I will find the LCM, but that will be exactly divisible by these numbers. I want a remainder of 4, so I will add 4. I will give you one more example. Suppose I have 7, number 7. And I 
am saying after dividing by 7 I need a remainder of 3 so in this 7 I will add 3 it will become 10 now when I will divide it by 7 I will get a remainder of 3 so in order for me to get a remainder I have to add that remainder to the number that is divisible by all these numbers exactly so the number that will be divisible by all these numbers exactly that means I have to find the least common multiple that is why it's saying find the smallest number which when divided by 24, 36, 54 and 60 leaves 4 as the remainder in each case that means I have to take the set of 4 numbers find the least number that will be divisible by these numbers and that will be the least common multiple when I find the least common multiple that number will be exactly divisible by these numbers without leaving a remainder but I want a remainder so in order to get a remainder I will add 4 to my final answer let's find the LCM of 24 36 54 and 60 first divisible by 2 2 twelves are, 2 ones are, 2 eights are 16, 2 twos are 4, 2 sevens are 14, 2 thirties are 16. Still 12, 18 and 30 are divisible by 2. 27 is not, that will be copied down. So 2 six are 12, 2 nines are 18, 27 comes down, 2 ones are 2, carry 1, 2 fives are 10. Now 9, 27 and 15, none of them are divisible by 2 because all are odd numbers. But 6 is divisible by 2. So 2, 3s are 6. Copy down 9, copy down 27, copy down 15. As if a number is not divisible by a particular number, then it has to be copied down. And only then you go to the next prime number when none of them are divisible by that particular prime number. So we were dealing with 2. Now none of these numbers are divisible by 2. So I need to stop dividing by 2. I go to my next prime number that happens to be 3. All are divisible by 3. 3 1s are 3, 3 3s are 9, 3 9s are 27, 3 5s are 50. Now I've got my first one which will go right to the end of my sum. 3 divides 3, 3 divides 9, does not divide 5, 5 will be copied down. So 3, 1 copied down, 3 1s are 3, 3 3s are 9, 5 copied down. 3 is still divisible by 3, so 1 copied down, 1. 5 is not divisible by 3, it's a prime number, it comes down. The last number, 5. So I get 1, 1, 1, 1. So my LCM out here will be 2 into 2 into 2, 3 times. 3 into 3 into 3, 3 times. And 5 only once. 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8, from year to year 8. 3 3s are 9, 9 3s are 27, till year 27 and 5. Now we all know 8 5s are 40, so all I have to do is take 40 and multiply it by 27. 7 0s are, 7 4s are 28, cancel 2 0s are 0, 2 4s are 8. My answer 0, 8, 10. 1080. 1080. Now 1080 will be divisible by all these numbers exactly without leaving a remainder. But I want a remainder of 4. So what do I do? I add 4 in my final answer. I write 1080 is exactly divisible by 24, 36, 54 and 60. To leave a remainder, to leave a remainder, add 4. So the number is, the number is 1080 plus 4, which will be 1084. So my number is 1084. So when I divide 1084 by any one of these, it will always leave a remainder of 4. That's how you do this sum.